up there. He's actually down here. And we're not down here, we're actually up there. Paul seems to have a new grasp of reality during his second imprisonment. His first imprisonment down in Caesarea, close to Jerusalem, lasted a couple of years, but he didn't do any letter writing there that we know of. He probably spent his time in prayer, meeting with people, who knows. His second imprisonment a few years later, lasted up to three to four years, was in Rome. He got busy writing letters. The first of his prison letters is this letter, the letter to the Christians in Ephesus, Ephesians. He makes some radical claims in this letter, not only about where God is and where we are, but about the authority that comes to us through that position. He encourages the Ephesians to open the eyes of their heart so they can see reality. This isn't pie in the sky, the reality bears fruit, fruit in the lives of their friends, fruit in their own lives, fruit in the power of a praying Christian, fruit in the power of a Christian who knows where he is and what he can actually do. I've experienced this power in lots of ways, particularly in power over principalities, power over demons. It reminds me that I am with Christ in the heavenly realms, those realms which are right here, right next to me. There are a few things as fun as seeing darkness flee people who've been burdened by it for so many years. The word predestination comes up a lot in this chapter, and it's not so much the doctrine of God being in control and the elect and the non-elect, so much as the beauty, the wonder that God thought of us way back in the beginning, that he planned this whole beautiful thing, this incarnation, this coming of Jesus. He planned it way back in the beginning because he saw us, he saw you. His plan was to lavish freedom upon us as he adopted us as his children. Poor urchins being adopted into the family of the richest of the rich, God's kids. And then he talks about the center of life on earth, the place where heaven and earth meet, the place where power happens. The place is called ecclesia. The place is called gathering. The place is called church. Cross the finish line 